Good afternoon, Rick Holland here with Tech Out. Today we are over here at my Mac setup. Um, there is my 2020 Mac Mini right there, the M1 Mac Mini. Um, and what we're doing today is we're actually going to be di diagnosing or trying to diagnose a problem that I've been having with it. Um, and that is that when I come back to the computer after it's been in sleep mode all night, or um, say I've been at work all day and I come home, uh, the computer will have a message saying that it has been restarted due to a problem. Um, and I have to, you know, relog back in. It's like I just rebooted the computer, but it's doing this automatically. Um, I am running the beta on my Mac Mini, but I'm also running the beta on my MacBook Pro over here, and it has never done that. Um, this has also happened through multiple beta builds. So I'm going to do an Apple hardware test on this, or diagnostics, whatever they're calling it nowadays. Um, it used to be called Apple hardware test, though. Uh, so right here I have a wired keyboard plugged in. Um, because your normal wireless keyboard or Bluetooth keyboard isn't going to work. Um, you can use a wireless keyboard as long as it has a little dongle plugged into USB, um, but Bluetooth will not work because Bluetooth will not connect um, before the computer reboots. So it's booted up right now. We're just going to go right here and click restart. Um, and then we're going to uh, hit restart there as well and give it a second. And then you're just gonna wanna hold down the D key as your computer restarts. And hopefully we should see it go into a um, into a diagnostic uh, test mode that is built into the computer and this will test your logic board, your memory, uh, stuff like that just to narrow down any problems. So if this passes the test um, then we're going to go ahead and assume that it's probably software related and we'll wait till we get off of the beta builds before um, trying to you know check for any more issues. So hopefully it goes into this uh, diagnostic mode. I did hear the computer do its little bong. Okay and it did not go into diagnostic mode so Give me one sec, let me check the instructions. That's what it said to do. Um, let me check and see if there's anything different for the M1 Mac Minis um, into getting into this mode. All right, so the help section on the Mac itself is not updated yet. So if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, uh, you need to turn off the computer and hold down the power button as it starts up and release when the startup options come up. If you have an Intel Mac, that is when you hold down the D key during startup. Um, so the little help section on the Mac itself is not updated um, for the Apple Silicon um, diagnostic mode and boot up options and all that kind of stuff yet. So it's turning off right now. As soon as the power indica indica uh, indicator turns off, I'll go ahead and turn it back on and go ahead and hold down the power button. So I am holding the power button right now. You can see the light is back on and it says continue holding for startup options, loading startup options, and then I let go. All right, let's see. Okay, so here we go. We are in the startup options and then it said to hold down. So this is where you could go into like recovery mode and stuff like that. And of, of course, Bluetooth isn't working, so my mouse isn't working. Um, but this is where you would go into your, if, if, you, have a, if you had multiple disc, um, stuff like that, you could go into it here, but it says hit command D, continue holding to start diagnostics. So I'm still holding down on the keyboard right here, um, as you can see right there. Okay, we'll go ahead and let go. and the computer is rebooting, hopefully into the diagnostic mode. I may have to get a wired mouse. Let's see if the Bluetooth works. Looks like Wi-Fi is turning on, but I don't think Bluetooth is going to connect. Let's see if we can do it with the keyboard. All right, so run diagnostics. In order to investigate your issue, Apple needs information from your system, such as device and device identifiers, hardware and software specific and usage information. By selecting I agree, by, or by pressing the return key, you acknowledge that Apple may collect, use, and retain the information for diagnostic and support purposes, as well to improve its products. So we're gonna go ahead and hit return for agree. And it's actually mirroring, mirroring it on both screens, so that's kind of funny. Um, so it's waiting for session. So we're gonna go ahead and let this start up and run. I think it's pretty much automatic from here um, So I'm gonna let this run and then I'll come back with the results All right, so it has uh, come up with this product progress bar that says checking your Mac um, It says about one minute remaining. It's been over a minute and the progress bar has yet to move um, Sometimes the time frame on these tests can be very inaccurate um, And sometimes it will look like the test has frozen when indeed it's not it just doesn't update a, a bunch um, so give it a reasonable amount of time, um, give it a few, and see if the test runs. 
um, or if it continues. But if the test does freeze, that could indicate a hardware problem if it can't even run the test. Um, so we're gonna give this a few minutes and um, see what it does exactly. It is 1019 a.m. right now at the time of this. Um, so I will come back and let you guys know what time it is when it finishes. Okay, so it's been a, at least a good five minutes um, and nothing has happened. It still says one minute remaining and the progress bar has not moved at all. I tried to plug in a wired mouse um, and it didn't respond to that. So what I'm going to do is run the test on my MacBook Pro here because it is not having any issues. It's, you know, all good. Um, so we're going to run the test on here just as like a baseline to see how this one does and to see if it has the same, um, you know, if it gets stuck like this on here, then we'll know it's probably something with the test. If this one just goes right through, then it's probably going to be an issue with the Mac Mini itself. Okay, so this test just started and the progress bar is going no issue whatsoever. Mac Mini is still stuck. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna unplug everything from the Mac Mini and I'm gonna reboot it and try the test again. If it still doesn't start, then I'm going to go ahead and contact Apple and probably have to send it in. All right, so this one came back in, like, like, like I said, about a minute. No issues found. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again on the Mac Mini. There's nothing plugged in, no external hard drives, uh, no external devices other than this keyboard that I obviously have to have connected to navigate through the um, menu. Um, so there it is rebooting back into diagnostics. You can see everything right there on the top is unplugged. Um, no external hard drive, no secondary monitor, nothing. Um, so we're gonna hopefully have it run the test this time. And if it doesn't, then obviously I think we have a problem. And these are both on the same uh, beta, by the way, they're both on beta six. So that has nothing to do with, um, with the test not running. So it's loading the, uh, loading the diagnostic session. And uh, the MacBook Pro just took right off from here. It, it didn't even like just sit there. This one, see, it's just sitting there. It's not, not moving, test won't start, um, nothing like that. And the, the MacBook Pro, when it started the test, the fans ramped up. Um, and the bar just went straight across and, and then it came up and says no issues found this one It's not it's not doing that. There's no fan noise um, It's like it's getting to this point right here, and it just stops So I do think we may have a hardware issue with the uh, with the 2020 Mac mini uh, I'm gonna go ahead and contact Apple and see what they say um, or see if I can just start a repair um, And maybe send it in and see what's going on